To manipulating, adjusting, repositioning objects inside the view, we have a special tool that called Gizmo. For example, right here, camera, and if we select camera, you notice we have all these properties around. We have the arrows that allowed us to just click, hold down button and move left and right. And also we can rotate, tilt, shift and do all these different operations. So let's right now, we'll just create a sphere right here. And you notice on a sphere, we have the bounding boxes. These boxes are showing in our area where the object reside. It will also relate it to the cameras, clouds, any other. And some of those boxes not necessarily will go to the shape of the object. It's more as a binding box where the sides touching on them. So when we look closer on this box, you notice we have it right here some of the dots elements and they represent for us that we can manipulate with the size of this object. For example, if we go on the side, we can distort in one side. If we grab on the corner, notice it is moving proportionally. So also, if you notice, if we come a little bit too far, we have it right here, rotation tool. We call click and we can rotate our object. So this is kind of universal uh, tool that allowed us to manipulate skew, distort sizes, rotation and repositioning. But also, if we look on the right side of our gizmo tool, we have options that we can change this gizmo tool to different. For example, instead of use universal, if you click on rotation, you can see how it switch. And now we have all these elements that we can rotate. So for example, let's go switch to the cube tool. And you can see right here on a cube, I can generically take one or I can just select specific axis, for example, right here. And if I go left and right, it does not switch. So it's only rotate in the axis that I currently selected. So right here, if I go in and select green and you can see it's highlighting yellow when I come closer. So it's telling me you just select only this ax, go left click, hold it. And you can see I only can rotate and this direction on this ax. Okay. There are also other things apply to this. If, for example, you click and you hold the shift button, you can rotate by specific degree. And this is very helpful when you need to go with a preset like specific 120, 180 degrees. So you can do this way. You can change how much degrees will per one click kind of snapping. It's inside the options. So we'll just look on this after how we can do this. But overall, right here is a rotation tool. Also, next below, if we click on this, this is, is a scaling. And you can see how it's changed now. So we have those handles that we can kind of click on them, grab, and we can skew in specific direction. We also have a middle scale. And also, this is very useful because if we select on a middle, you can see we have a very small changes. As we gain away, it scale faster. So this is multiplications on how much it scale. Even we can scale with our generic tool, we can go inside and scale here. Sometimes you want a little bit more precision or um, in specific angles. So in this case, by switching to this um, gizmo to the scale, it will help us as well. Next, we look on these modes that we can use it. And right now, say on G, which is there for global coordinates orientated, but we also have it on the parents. We have it local and you can see how they change the position of the object. This is help us with orientation, our object according to the local. So for example, if I going with a global and I try to scale, you can see it's a skew. But what if I just want um, skew relative to the object. So in this case, I go to the local. And again, right here, you can see I modify it related to the local coordinates. So when we have a view, it's based on what where we view on the object. So it's coordinates based on the position on this. The couple things sometimes maybe come up when you need more precision on the rotation, on the scaling and positioning. And to do this, 
it's much easier if you're going inside the object properties which is located on your right side this object and you can see we have it also right here for the selected object we have it properties as a positioning we have it orientation we also have it size twist additional deformations and we also have a pivot location so instead in the center we can change this pivot in different places we'll look on these properties for the object a little bit later but just let you know so you can see right here we have our object and you don't necessarily well sometimes you do move here and i do this when i don't need exactly precision on the sizing but you always can go inside um, object properties and modify the property and you can see how it's changed notice in this we have it in the meters because it's what we have it in our options set as a metric system if you prefer imperial you can change inside the preference that we we'll look in the next tutorials and this is will reflect for you in imperial measurement points